so uh, this is one of the questions that will come in a group C for class 10 compulsory mathematics. I'm going to solve this question. I hope that you'll be able to understand this. So here you have 60 to the power x. We all know that 16 is the square of 4. So in place of 16, we can write here 4 square. In place of 16, I can write here 4 square. So x is as it is. 64 is also as it is. 5 into 4 with the power x plus 1. So by the rule of indices, 4 with the power x plus 1 can be written as 4 with the power x into 4 with the power 1. Okay, 4 with the power 1 is also 1. So this is uh, by the rule of indices. So if you have 3 with the power x plus 2, then you can write 3 with the power x into 3 square. You can write it this way. If you have minus 2, then you also have to write here minus 2 here. So this is the way, this is what the rule of indices have said. So I think you know this rule. We have learned this rule in class 8 and in class 9 as well. So I did not explain much about this rule. So we have 4 with the power 2x. This can also be written as 4x and you can write here 2 outside because x into 2 gives us 2x. See, x into 2 gives us 2x. So here I have written 2x as x into 2 plus 64 as it is. Now you can multiply this 5 into 4. 5 into 4 is 20 into 4 with the power x. Now we can suppose that 4 with the power x to be a. Now 4 with the power x is taken as a. In place of 4 power x, I can write a square as it is plus 64 as it is equals to 20. We have 4 with the power x that can be written as an a. Now I can erase the term. I can get this plus 20a before the equal to. I can make it minus 20a plus 64 equals to 0. Now I have to factorize it. I need two such number which when multiplied gives us 64 which when added gives us minus 20 or we can see that which when multiplied gives us 64 which when sub added gives us 20. So you can write here a square minus so the numbers are 16 and 4. 16 into 4 is 64. 16 plus 4 is 20. a plus 64 equals to 0. So everyone knows how to factorize this one. Or uh, a square minus 16 into a gives us 16a. Minus into plus gives us minus. 4 into a gives us 4a. Plus 64 equals to 0. I can take a common and I will have here a minus 16 left. I can take 4 common here. I will have here a minus 16 left then. On this way I can scale a minus 16 a minus 4 equals to 0. Now we have two options. We have two possibilities. The possibilities are uh, one is either we can write here a minus 16 equals to 0 or a will be equal to 16. Now here what we have written here we have suppose 4 power x to be a. So in place of this a I can write here 4 with the power x. Now in place of the 16 I can write here 4 square. I can see the base are same and there is equal to sign in between. So the rule of indices says that if the bases are same and if you have equal to in between then their exponent are also equal. So I can like say that x equals to 2. Also I also have the next option here a minus 4 equal to 0 a minus 4 equal to 0 or a equals to 4. I took this minus 4 after the equal to to make it 4 and I can see that 4 power x is supposed to be an a. So here in place of a, I'm going to write here 4 with the power x and this will be 4 with the power 1. So on the same rule, base here are same, there is equal to sign in between, so the exponent will also be the same. So this way we can say that value of x is 1 or 2. This much.